Hi, this is David with Creation Crate, and today I want to give you a quick overview of the Uno R3 Arduino compatible microcontroller. You'll get one of these with your Creation Crate kit, so I want you to understand the different components and how to hook it up before you get started with your first project. This is the Uno R3 Arduino compatible microcontroller that comes with your Creation Crate kit. Now, before you get started with your first project, we just wanted to give you a quick tour of the Arduino and help make you a little bit more familiar with it before you start working. First to know is that this little box right here, and you can see it has this kind of V-shaped connection. This is a USB serial port. You have a blue cable that comes with the Arduino that will hook to the USB port on your computer. That is used to both power the board and allows you to upload your sketch or your program onto the board. Now, once the sketch is on there, it'll start running automatically and it'll keep running in a loop until you turn it off. If you need to start the code back from the beginning, there's actually a reset switch right here, so you just press that button and it'll start the code over for you. Now, sometimes you're gonna wanna power your microcontroller away from your computer. This barrel plug right here is a way to do that. You can see it's just a round plug, and you can connect anything from 9 to 12 volts, and it'll step it down to the 5 volts that the Arduino Uno actually takes. So you can use a set of a couple of AA batteries, you can use a 9-volt battery, uh, you can use a 12-volt power source. They make power supplies that are compatible with the Arduino. There's lots of different ways to power it, so you can use this away from your computer. You also have some input and output pins, which we'll cover in just a little bit. But you can see them here. There's some digital, analog, and power pins. And we'll cover them briefly here in just a second. Last thing is the microcontroller, which is the brains itself. The Arduino uses an Atmega 328 microcontroller. Let's take a closer look at the pins. Most electronic components that you can connect things to have what's called a pinout diagram. And that tells you what each of these pins are allowed and able to do. In the case of the Arduino Uno, the pinouts are the available places that you can connect wires to the Arduino board. Now there's three main sections. You have the power, you have analog inputs, and then you have digital inputs and outputs. Okay, the board runs on five volts, so it can easily give five volts to another component. There are a number of components that only use 3.3 volts, so there's a convenient spot to hook that up. Now regardless whether you're using 3.3 or 5, you can use any of the ground here, okay, to connect ground to your component. Next you have these analog inputs. Now these are used to receive information from uh, accessories like uh, temperature sensor, motion sensor, button switches, things like that. The digital input output pins as indicated by the name, can receive information from accessories and can also be used to send information to another device, such as a light, like an LED, uh, or a display screen, or a motor, anything like that. So this is what the microcontroller is really good at doing. It's really good at taking information from the outside world, processing it with the program that you wrote for it, and then telling other things what to do. That's a quick, basic overview of your Uno R3 Arduino compatible microcontroller. I hope this helped you get started. You can find more videos at www.creationcrate.com slash classroom. And while you're there, check out our component video series if you want to learn more about the individual components.